Silence. A sudden crash. Then, the piercing sound of a woman's scream. This was the frightful night that changed Paula Ortega's life forever. Paula Ortega, a name etched in the annals of Barcelona's social elite. A woman who had built a fortress of success, brick by brick with her own bare hands. Her world was one of luxury, power, and the relentless pursuit of her dreams. But on one dark night, her fortress was breached and her world came crashing down. In the heart of her beautiful home, Paula was attacked. The sanctuary she had built, tainted by violence, a chilling act of brutality that would shatter the life she knew and catapult her into a realm of fear and uncertainty. A successful businesswoman forced to confront the ugly face of human malevolence. Little did Paula know, this was just the beginning of a harrowing journey. Paula Ortega wasn't just a victim. She was a fighter, a survivor, a beacon of resilience. Born to a humble family in the outskirts of Madrid, Paula's early life was a testament to her grit. She was the eldest of three children, and from an early age, she learned the value of hard work. Paula's parents ran a small grocery store where she and her siblings would help after school, a humble beginning that would shape her relentless drive for success. As Paula grew, her ambitions soared. She was determined to make a name for herself, to rise above the small town life she had been born into. And rise she did. With relentless determination, she moved to Barcelona, where she started her own business. Her boutique fashion line quickly gained popularity, turning her into a self-made entrepreneur, a beacon of resilience and strength. But Paula was not just a successful businesswoman. She was also a loving daughter, a caring sister, and a loyal friend. Her relationships were a testament to her warm and compassionate nature. Among her relationships, one stood out, her bond with her younger brother Christian. Christian and Paula shared a deep bond. He was not just a brother, but also a confidant, a pillar of support. When their parents passed away, it was Paula who took Christian under her wing, shouldering the responsibility of not just her burgeoning business, but also her family. Christian, who was still in his teens at the time, found a mother figure in Paula. They were a team, a duo facing the world together. Yet, it was this bond that would become the crux of Paula's tragic story. The very people we trust, the ones we deem closest to us, can sometimes be the ones who betray us the most. But even the strongest among us can be vulnerable, can be betrayed. Christian Ortega, Paula's confidant, her protector. But what happens when trust is shattered? The heart of our tale takes a chilling turn as we delve into the shocking revelation, the involvement of none other than Paula's own brother Christian in the ruthless attack. A devastating blow, a brother's betrayal. Christian, once a beacon of safety, had now become a symbol of treachery. The investigation into the attack on Paula was a labyrinth of secrets and lies. The deeper the authorities dug, the more they uncovered. It was a tangled web and at the center to everyone's disbelief was Christian. The mounting evidence was undeniable. Fingerprints at the scene, incriminating phone records, and a series of clandestine meetings with known criminals. The puzzle pieces were falling into place, and the picture they painted was one of deceit and betrayal. This revelation sent shockwaves through the community. Christian Ortega, once seen as a devoted brother and a pillar of the community, was now a prime suspect in a heinous crime. But the person most affected by this revelation was Paula herself. It was a blow more painful than any physical wound. To Paula, Christian was not just a brother. He was a confidant, a protector. They had shared a lifetime of memories, of laughter and tears, of triumphs and tribulations. Yet behind the facade of brotherly love lurked a sinister reality. Christian's betrayal was a cruel twist of the knife, a stab to the heart that left Paula reeling. Amidst the turmoil, Paula's strength never wavered. Her resilience shone through the darkness, a beacon of hope amidst the storm of betrayal. She had to grapple with the devastating truth that the person she trusted the most had turned against her. The pain was immense but Paula was not one to crumble. She was a survivor. Betrayed by her own flesh and blood, Paula was left to pick up the pieces. In the face of adversity, Paula Ortega stood tall, determined to see justice served. She was unyielding in her quest, a beacon of strength amidst the chaos that had befallen her life. The courtrooms became her battlefield, her voice the weapon she wielded with unwavering resolve. The trial was a spectacle gripping the public's attention, 
the prosecution presented a damning case against her brother Christian, her trusted confidant turned betrayer. The evidence was overwhelming, the testimonies compelling, but it was Paula's own words that resounded the loudest. Her courage was palpable, her resilience inspiring. She faced her adversaries with a steadfast gaze, a symbol of her refusal to be broken. The public watched in awe and admiration. They rallied behind her, their support echoing through the corridors of justice. They were moved by her story, touched by her strength, and inspired by her pursuit of justice. Her bravery became a beacon of hope for many facing similar struggles, a testament to the power of resilience in the face of adversity. The verdict came down like a hammer. Guilty. The word echoed through the courtroom. A deafening proclamation of justice served. It was a victory for Paula, a vindication of her ordeal. But it was a victory tinged with a bitter aftertaste. The brother she loved, trusted, and admired was now a convicted criminal. In the end, justice was served. But at what cost? Paula Ortega, forever changed, emerged from the ashes of her ordeal stronger than ever. The echoes of her story reverberated across the world, a chilling reminder of the depths of human betrayal. Yet Paula refused to be defined by her tragedy. Instead, she channeled her pain into purpose, becoming a beacon of hope for victims of domestic violence. In the face of betrayal and tragedy, Paula Ortega found strength. She found justice. And above all, she found the courage to move forward.